Hi there everyone, welcome back to Dandelion Delphi Tutorials. This is for the grade 11s, we're still busy with arrays, but grade 12s could benefit from this just to revise your arrays. We are going to learn how to remove an item from an array and then also remove the values in the parallel arrays. So what this is showing is really what is happening in the memory of the computer. I'm going to show you the code soon. And what we're going to do is we're going to start looping at the index that we want to remove. And we are going to place the next item over this item. So if I want to remove Zoe Clark, I'm going to put Jacob's value over Zoe Nell over Clark and so on and then I will the next time I'm looping I'm going to put the next items over the previous values let me show you the code there are various options here the one is that we are searching for the input from the user to find the position and that is I delete pause it could be that the user enters this position as well, but let's take the harder example of us having to search for this person. So we are looking to delete just a single person, so we will find the most effective way of searching through this array by using our while loop and making it stop once we find it. The user now enters this person's name in a search. I start with my B find as false. And I'm going to use I delete pause to loop through my array. So here is my first condition for my while loop. Remember the round brackets around your conditions. And I'm just testing that I haven't reached the end of my loop. It could be possible that I can't find this person. And then I'm also adding and while I have not found this person. So while B find is false or not equal to true. And inside of my begin and end, I increase my counter and then I am searching for this person's name and I don't want to make it case sensitive so therefore I'm using uppercase. If I find the person I then make B find true. I can continue with the deleting inside of this while loop but I'm going to show you how you could do it outside of the loop because I delete pause will now hold the position of where this person was found because my loop will stop since B find will be changed to true. So this condition here will make my loop stop. So this is on the outside of my while loop. And I'm just saying here, yeah, if I haven't found the person, I'm going to tell the user I haven't found the person. Also, I'm going to start deleting. And I start at the position that I want to delete. So the index number is stored in I delete pause of the value that I want to delete. And I'm going to loop to I count minus one. This minus one here is really to prevent your program from crashing. If you have filled your array, so I count, let's say the array was declared uh, as a value from 1 to 20. So that's the number of rows it could contain. And I go to K plus one here. And now let's say the K was 20, the end of my array. My program will crash then on that last loop because I can't go to item number 21 as it does not exist. I have not declared 21. I've only declared indexes for 1 to 20. So let's say I was looking for Jacob. I found him in the index number 3. So the first time I'm looping, my index will be 3. And what I'm doing here is I'm placing 3 plus 1, in other words, 4, over Jacob. So over 3. And I'm doing the same now for his surname and his mark because I want to delete those parallel arrays as well, or the values in the parallel arrays. So what is going to happen is I'm going to put rows over Jacob. I'm just showing you a simple example here where let's say we only had five values stored. So rows goes over Jacob and my loop really stops there, but it will continue to do that until the end of your array. And then what will happen is your last two items in your arrays will have the same values. Because I've placed, when the K was 4, I placed 5 over 4. 
and now I might need to remove this last item. So remember, I count is the number of items. In this example, I count is now five, and I'm just clearing the name and the surname and setting their mark to zero. After I've done that, I need to decrease my counter because I now have one less item in my array. So in our example, the counter was five, but now I'm making it four. You must remember that the changes we've made now is only in the RAM of the computer. So if we want to make these changes permanent, I will have to rewrite this text file. So I have to delete the contents from it and then write my array to it again in the same format as the file was given. So you'll see here that I'm starting with a sign file. And then I don't have the if statement because what I want to do is I want to write a new text file without the value that I deleted. So therefore, I'm only using rewrite t file. Then I'm looping through my whole array and I'm writing each line to this text file in the format that is given. So if yours had hashes in between, you'll have to put hashes here. And then very important is that you close the file so that you are able to read or write to it again later in your program. So here's your time to practice. You can continue in the marks program or the learner marks program and try to write your procedure, write to file. And then we are going to complete the menu delete one. I'm going to show you an example of output just now. And here's an extract of output when Summer Makuba was entered. This is at the end of your output. Press pause and I'll show you the memo soon. Here is the answer for your procedure write to file. And you can see here we're only using rewrite. And we're writing to this text file making use of hashes. And remember we also want to write the grade to the text file. And here's the memo for the menu delete one. We get input here from the user, set be fine to false. There's my keeper to keep track of which person I want to delete. I am using uppercase here on bo both sides of my equal statement for both the name and the surname because I don't want my program to be case sensitive. I have to test for both the name and the surname since I want to delete a specific person with a certain name and surname. And then I said be fine to true to make this loop stop. And here I'm testing if be fine is true. Your if statement will automatically test by default if be fine is true, but you can also add equals to true. Then on the inside of this loop, I'm starting at my keeper. So that's where I found this person. And remember, I count minus one in your two. Then I'm removing the person from all four arrays because they're parallel arrays. I'm making the last person empty strings and their mark and grade as zero. And then I am decreasing my counter because I have one less person in my array. And since the question asked me to update the text file, I will then write to file, call my write to file procedure. But only do the right to file if you are asked to do so in an exam. And then this else is just going with my if statement at the top if I haven't found this person. And I will then display my updated array with my display procedure we created in our second lesson of arrays. Grade 11s, I hope this helped you. Please leave some comments if there's anything specific you want to learn. We are going to continue with arrays and we're going to remove more than one item in our arrays next. Hope to see you soon.